You can't fix what you don't acknowledge. If you don't acknowledge that there's a problem in your life, if you don't acknowledge that there's areas for you personally to grow, if you don't acknowledge that maybe you have an issue, how can you ever fix it? my friend for lunch last week you know um, as he comes into the restaurant I'm blown away like I'm like whoa you know homeboy really looked great he came in he's slim he got a whole new swag to himself walking looking like a French model or something and I'm like yo I can't believe how much weight you lost so he gets to telling me like over the last 12 months he lost something like 80 pounds and I'm so proud of him. And I'm like, yo, just tell me all about it. I can't believe how disciplined and how focused you've been about this. But, you know, after we were talking for a little bit, I told him, I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. I think you maxed out. I think that you have plateaued. You do not want to be a bobblehead. Like, don't lose another pound. Like, please, like, like stay where you are, where you're at because you look great. So he told me, he said, you know something, Sean? When I started this journey, it was all about weight loss. It was, it, you know, I was really just trying to become healthy and cut these pounds. He was like, but somewhere along the journey, it had become about me just wanting to get better. Like, I just wanted to be better. And I was like, whoa, 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 stop right there. Like, I love that, love where you're going. Like, elaborate on that. And he told me, he was like, that's just it. Like, I just wanted to be a better person. I wanted to be a better human being. He was like, that's my goal, is I just want to be better. And I sat there smiling because he kind of encapsulated my entire life's philosophies and the principles I try to live my life on day to day. Like as a human being, I just want to be better. I want to be a better version of Sean today than I was yesterday. And I want to be a better version of myself tomorrow than I am this minute. And it got me to thinking about so many people who will not be able to just be better. They won't allow themselves to just be better because they're so self-absorbed and they are so just full of themselves. Like they, they really, you know, have this thin skin and they, and they think that everything is about them. The world revolves around them and they can't take any type of feedback, any type of criticism, any kind of commentary, you know, even if it comes from a really good place or a trusted and reliable source. Like we, we all know these people, like no matter what you tell them, they interpret it as hate. They interpret, they, they it's quick to dismiss it. Like, oh, he's hating on me or she's hating on me. And it's like, no, like get over yourself. You know, you're not that important. Like the whole world is not hating just for the sake of hating. And don't get me wrong. There are people out there who are just miserable people. They're miserable individuals. And we see them all the time. They troll online. They're posting nasty comments, you know, on people's social platforms for no other reason than they are miserable themselves. I'm not talking about those types of people. I'm talking about people who you might work with. People who, you know, might be your boss. It might be a co-worker. It might be, you know, a loved one of yours who take time out of their life you know, to tell you things that you can fix in your life. And instead of just really like absorbing it, taking heed and saying, you know what, thanks for the constructive criticism, I appreciate it. You know, you immediately put up a wall of, the, of, of defense and say, this person is after me, they are hating on me. And it doesn't work like that all the time. Like Dr. Phil has this amazing quote that he's been using almost since day one of the Dr. Phil show where he says, you can't fix what you don't acknowledge. And you know, that that's it's simple, but it's profound. You can't fix what you don't acknowledge. If you don't acknowledge that there's a problem in your life, if you don't acknowledge that there's areas for you personally to grow, if you don't acknowledge that maybe you have an issue, how can you ever fix it? You know, by dismissing it right away, you are doing yourself a disservice. And I, you know, off the top of my head, I think of a lighthearted example, but we've all seen people where you talk to them and you gotta talk to them like, like you talking like this, like, yeah, okay, um, 
Yeah, we done with like, like, let me get out of here. Like, you hate talking to these people face to face. If you do, you way back here because their breath stinks. It's like, come on, man. Like, we've had this conversation, and I'm sure people in your life have told you time and again, like, or, or you see how uncomfortable you make me or make other people feel when you come up in their face, but you take it as. You know, it, it, you have gotten this criticism before. People have pulled you to the side, I'm sure of it, and said, look, you got to do something about this. But you take it as, nah, they just hate and like, I don't have a problem here. Yes, you do have a problem. Just fix it. We've all seen people like this. Or I'm better yet, we've all seen people, and, and trust me, if you're anything like me, you have been in a relationship with somebody at some point in your life to where everything is you. It don't matter if they, you know, are uh, 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 away out of the country and they stub their toe. They're like, it is his fault or his her fault. Like everything is you, 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 you. And you, you sit back and after a while you start to think like, is it ever your fault? Is, is any issue, is any argument, is there anything that we deal with within, you know, the confines of our relationship, not my fault? Do you even have the capacity to look in the mirror and have real self-evaluation, really sit and say to yourself, you know what, maybe it is not the other person's fault. Maybe it's my fault. Maybe it's the way that I'm coming at them that, you know, has them reacting a certain way. Or it, it, there's areas in my life that I can just improve, improve on. But, the, you know, the, you can't fix what you don't acknowledge. And because of that, People are not able to become their best self. I don't care how many times they post that on the gram. They're not able to grow. They are the same people that they was last year and a year before that, so forth and so on, because they refuse to just take ownership of the fact that I, me, I can grow. They, I'm, I'm not flawless. I'm not the perfect individual. I'm not the perfect human being. And there are areas in my life I need to work on. The goal of this life, ladies and gentlemen, is just to become better. It's as simple as that. Just to become better in any area, in business, in relationship, in your personal life. What as a parent, no matter, you just want to become better. But you can't fix what you don't acknowledge. Think about it. Peace and love make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.